Hey, I'm Will Bartlett, and in today's video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to walk you through how to turn an After Effects graphic into an editable motion graphic template file that you can use inside Premiere Pro. These motion graphic template files, or MoGert files, have the file extension .mogrt and can be created in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. The benefit of creating MoGert files in After Effects is you can create far more complex templates that are fully functional and editable inside Premiere Pro. All right, so in this After Effects project, we have a lower thirds title and the name and title gets revealed through a mask. So I'll show you what's going on here and then we'll start creating the motion graphics template. In our composition, we have a shape layer, which is this line here. We have the top text layer and the bottom text layer. Besides that, we have two mats. So since this is parented and the position was pick whipped to the position of the shape layer, this will follow the two keyframes of our shape layer. As the shape layer animates across the screen to follow the small uh, shape layer here, that's when the text behind it is revealed. So we have our text layer and our matte layer above it, and then our text layer and our matte layer above it. So in both examples, on our text layer, we have it set to alpha inverted. And what that'll do is it'll turn the matte layer off and allow it to be used as a matte to hide it when the shape layer is over the text. And now that you have an idea of what's going on in this After Effects project, now we can start creating our motion graphics template. So in After Effects, if you go to Window and then Essential Graphics, this panel window will open. Then at the top, you can name your template. You can select the composition you are working with. And then we'll start dragging in certain things from down here into here in order to create editable elements. Let's go to our shape layer. Let's open it up, go into Contents, Rectangle, Transform, and then let's grab the scale and drag it into our Essential Graphics panel. Let's rename this Shape Size. This will correspond with the shape of our shape layer. Then we'll close that. Next, let's go into our top text layer, inside text, and then under source text, let's click and drag that up. This will allow us to easily rename the text layer, and we'll name it top text. If we move this over a bit, you'll see that it says edit properties on the text layer. So let's click on that, and then let's select all three of these. So those will give us some additional options. So we can change the font, the style, the size, and so on. Next, let's go into transform on the text layer, we'll grab position and bring that up. And we'll call this one top text position. That will allow us to reposition the text if we like. And as you'll notice, there isn't a way to change the color of the text. So in order to do that, go to your effects and presets panel, type in fill, and then with the fill effect, drag that on to your text layer. Now I already have it on there. So under effects, we will grab the color and drag that up. This one will be top text color. Then we'll start working on the bottom text. So inside the bottom text, open up text and source text will drag up. We'll call this one bottom text. And since we turned on all the properties for the top text, they also will show for any new text we create. So from there, we'll go into transform, grab the position, bottom text position we'll rename it to, and then you'll add fill to that layer again. I've already done that, so under fill, where it says color, we'll drag that to the bottom here, and then we'll rename this similar to the top, so bottom text color, and then we can close up all of these. At this stage, the animation still looks the same, except now we've set up editable parameters in the essential graphics panel. And that makes it very easy to update this lower thirds because we no longer need to do anything in the composition. For example, if we wanted to change the title or the color, the color of the bottom one as well, and reposition the bottom one so that it lines up, you'll see that the animation still works perfectly. And the last thing we do before we export our motion graphic template is set the poster time. So we want to make sure that our timeline is at a place where we can see the whole graphic and then click the button and this will act as our thumbnail. So at this stage we are done in After Effects. We've made all the parameters that we want in here. So let's go to export motion graphics template. 
We'll set it to local drive and then we'll browse, give it a name, save that. And then for compatibility, I select the bottom one here and then hit OK. Then let's go into Premiere Pro. Let's make sure the Essential Graphics panel is open. We'll go to Browse, and then at the bottom right, this is where we install Motion Graphics files. Let's navigate to where we saved that Motion Graphics template file. Click Open. Then we will sort by Recent. This will bring the last one we installed to the top. So let's click that, drag it down, and just like that, we have the graphic inside Premiere Pro. And as you'll notice, we have the exact same parameter settings up here in the Essential Graphics panel inside Premiere Pro. So this makes it very easy to update in just a few seconds. So we can change this back to my name. We can move the video creator so it lines up again. We can change the top text back to white. And maybe we'll change the bottom text to like a blue. And just like that, within just a few seconds, we've updated the text. And one of the coolest things about this workflow is we can simply hold Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC and click and drag to make a copy. And then on our new layer, we can type whatever we want and it'll be a completely new graphic independent of the other one. So obviously it takes a little bit of time to set up the After Effects project, but once you've done that and set it up as a template inside the Essential Graphics panel, it makes life much easier moving forward. There's quite a lot you can do inside this After Effects template for these motion graphics. You can add expressions and add as many different elements up in the Essential Graphics panel as you'd like and make it as complex as you want. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks. My name is Will Bartlett and we will see you next time.